This is a package that I've received today and I'm just uh, guessing something that may be related to astronomy. Probably an eyepiece. You know already because you have watched the title. I don't know. So let's go and open it. Okay, now I have uh, removed the wrapping or cut actually. It's not removed yet. So let's see what is here. And how can I open this? Okay, the opening is here, which means I have to cut this cellar tape. So, wait. Okay, I've cut the cellar tape. Hmm. I have to use both hands. I will put the wrapping also away. Okay, I'll put the wrapping away and this is what is inside, some paper, more paper, something big in a bubble wrap. So let's open and see. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see some black and some green. Oh, it can be a, can it be a teleview? Ooh, wow. A Teleview 14mm Delos looks immaculate new. And yeah, let me just see how it is. Let me remove the wrapping. So, a Teleview 14mm Delos. I have a 10mm and I thought that 14mm. I was really impressed with the quality of the image, especially when I was observing the Jupiter. Better than the bottom Morpheus and uh, six and a half millimeter. When I borrowed that 10 millimeter, it became five, and the image quality was intact, very good. And so I just went and bought a, a 14 millimeter one, which when I uh, do the Barlow on it, it will become a seven millimeter. Fourteen millimeter Delos. Delos. I have a fourteen millimeter uh, Bader Morpheus, which I will compare when I'm uh, in the night, probably. But this has a big lens. I heard that the fourteen millimeter Pentax is similar to this, but fourteen millimeter Pentax in some telescope, not all, has some field curvature problem. This one it seems didn't have that problem, according to some reviewers. I don't know if these are true or not. Uh, the only person I trust on the reviews is just Ernest from Russia. That guy actually does the test. And, uh, and Teleview is the one who trusts that, Ernest also. They sent him a lot of their eyepieces just for the review and test that he does on them. So, Teleview Delos, and let's see how it looks in the truth. Big eye lens, and sunny outside and you can see looks acceptable looks good actually quality good mm, beautiful according to david nagler it was uh, designed and it is invention by one of the designers in that teleview uh, dello Pati, Pat patini or something like that he is a greek they thought that that name is not good for a name as a commercial thing, as a product for a commercial thing. So they, they, they shortened it to Delos, which is one of the islands of the Greek. But Nagler is also another name which is not really... It just now became commercial, but it was not a commercial name, considering that it's a German name. Al Nagler uh, is from Germany. Why he ended up in America, there's a lot of stories about it, but... This is the design, <clears throat> and um, they could call it with the name of that person. They didn't. So this is the way the capitalism goes. You invent something, you design something, and then you don't get credit for it. This is the Teleview 14mm Delos. Uh, now 
fix it on a target which is around 15 meter away 12 to 15 meter away let's see the how the image looks like I place with is a little bit finicky and when you just go a little bit out of the path of the light you see some um, ring of fire effect and some blue chromatic aberration but at the center when you are placing your eye is really good the image quality is good That was how the image looked like through the Delos 14 millimeter uh, teleview. I was using the my lovely Telus uh, ED80 Skywatcher ED80 Pro Series Gold version telescope. It's a uh, apochromatic, or as they call it, semi-apro, but I think that is apochromatically. And uh, the target was this. Let me show you. There is a tree in front of our window, and those fruits you see there, tiny fruits, were the image you were looking at. You were looking at the image. So, around 12 to 15 meters away.